Basically, not just 20, happy 2020, but also goodbye to not just 2019, but the last decade as well and stuff. And also, the reason I've been on well, this video is very, very late is because mainly because like, it's been like what, over a month or two. But then the reason I've been busy because I've been quite busy because literally, like, like, I was on holiday for two weeks and then when I came back, uh, it's just jet lag as well, boss. I had like about like a site, like let's say Simon's literally just finished on the first semester on Sunday, and then this week is the start of the second for me. And then <coughs> so today is the day I'm gonna make the video that that might as well. So this one I've been meaning to do, I was gonna because I was gonna do like what I was originally gonna do was I was gonna do like a, a vlog kind of sense on when I was on holiday, I went to. Disneyland Paris, so uh, sorry, Disneyland Universal, sorry, not Paris, um, and uh, Florida, and like, and then I was going to look at a little bit of vlogs there, like, and then edit it like, when I came back, but obviously not enough time, and didn't really have time to video, so I just pretty much took pictures. If you, and if you saw social media, you know that obviously taking pictures, obviously, and um, especially Instagram, and so that's why I thought, you know what, instead of like a vlog thing, I'll do like talk in front of the camera as I do like my Disney experience because it's, it was like about quite a while ago and I've been about four, yeah, 14, 15 years since I last went to Florida so also I've seen the difference between then and now so yeah so now I'm going to talk to I'm going to talk about back to my experience. The first I'll talk about where I was staying and I'm gonna break it down to things. So yeah, the first hotel I was staying at was called the Enclave and the area was quite nice as well. Like the hotel had like basically kinda of like in the middle, so it's like in, in the middle, I mean like you have opposite it, so like I'll talk to the camera now and I the camera would be like on one face, you know, there's like literally it would be kind of like the it's like this pirate show place, as you can eat and pirate show as well. And the actual hotel itself was like, had like in the middle was like, it's like because three thing, three parts. The first part being like, sort of like this, like a sort of like, uh, what's the word? You know, like you have like two houses together kind of thing like that. Where it's like the one bit was like the office, and you have like uh, also. And go like not just the actual your main office but also like you can also just like the hotel like as in check in and stuff and check out and also they have like a desk as well where they talk about where you can hire like a um like a shuttle bus to take you to like, wherever you need to get to and there's also actually like a park as well and there's also like uh, a door where you can go into like the swimming pool and stuff and there's also like a, a gym as well and also next to like I said the office but also yeah there's also like a you can go outside which is like the where the one the entrance is to the pool as well and the main pool because there's one inside and one outside as well and basically next to the actual office building there's also was like this the foyer as I call it which is like the eating area so it's like they got a little shop as well, and basically, where you have like breakfast, the hotel they basically provide you breakfast, is, yeah, and then you can go like inside there, like, because there's Pizza Hut, so you can go eat there, you know. It's actually quite a lot of deals as well, quite a lot of, uh, quite cheap, more cheaper than the one here in Crawley, so, you know, and then there's also like, in England as well, and also, there's also, um, and then, there's two like like I said main parts as well like there's like there's two hotel parts like rooms mine was the second one I stayed out which is I mean, second I mean you know like part one part two something and near was near hotel was also like a you know like Brighton Pier kind of thing where it's got the arcade 
bit yeah literally like that kind of scent like that and then there's also like there's chilies which is like a, a chili place thing and there's also like a few restaurants and a few shops as well like there's this, um uh like dunkin donuts which is like not dunkin donuts sorry uh yeah dunkin donuts sorry yeah which is their version of like sort of like crispy cream and stuff and it's also quite nice you know and um it's a quite nice area as well like everything was also like walking distance which is actually quite good you know and there's quite a lot of like food places and like i said shops as well and also speaking of the food as well it's like not just that area but also places where like dinner and stuff there's like i've noticed with the food is like obviously loads of sometimes different taste than here in england some are saying like pizza hut it honestly cannot be a classic pizza hut quite nice and speaking of pizza is actually obviously you know how america's stuff is like massive the pizza was also like genuine massive as hell but still some of them are quite nice like but the one i had on the first day though is like the food some of them were actually quite nice though like but like especially the first and the last day though i mean some of them weren't as good because my uh because obviously with my dad he likes asian food so because he's gonna be able to have asian food quite a bit of times and some of it was not good like the smell uh, obviously it's not disgusting and like literally you could like not just because obviously some of them i didn't have it like i could actually smell it quite far like disgusting smell and didn't look nice either it's not that good and like there's one place especially like kept me into kept me into go called sizzler which is like walking distance from a hotel uh, it's supposed to be apparently quite nice next to this Punjabi like place where next you can, you can actually you can literally smell that and then when you go inside that sizzle you actually still smell like literally smell like yeah definitely Asian place and like I mean because I think cause I was like uh two main reasons why I was like I was like a bit skeptical one the like, three reasons because one it's a new place two like did not smell nice and three no four reasons sorry three was also because like obviously because like i choked so it's like and because literally the day before i flew out it was like it was like i choked and that's why i had to be cautious and also because the fourth reason because asian food so it's like yeah i don't know how it's gonna be like it smells disgusting and it was it might not be as nice and stuff so obviously i went with the kids meal which is the chicken nuggets and chips which honestly not that bad but to be fair it's like it's actually quite nice uh but i tried a little bit of the i think from the kebabs I tried a bit of it, i was like no definitely not it was that literally disgusting and there's like and also like there's one of the places we went to on the first day because obviously it's because we were like oh yeah like obviously put everything away we like go for a walk look for food places as well because since you know obviously a new place just got there and uh one of the places not that nice it's called the halal food place because obviously because i'm asian and obviously i'm muslim as well so obviously quite hard to find halal places and obviously uh, like especially like in america as well and we went the halal food I found it but it's like it's quite small it's like this basically the size of basically quite a small area literally a small room basically as it were small restaurant takeaway place it's like it's literally it's terrible even literally it smelled bad and the food did not look that nice and quite overpriced as well and literally like too cramped as well and it's not that nice it's like and because obviously i was like no nah, i'll leave it but because my mum ended up buying it anyway so i was like well i must have it and obviously the piece is quite big as well I literally had one bite of it, I was like, ah, no, disgusting. Because, but I think, uh, at least the good thing was, though, is that I had a good drink, because I was just like, because, like, it looks, the cans as well, like, they look really different as well, and so that was nice, and the drink was actually right, obviously, because Diet Coke, obviously, Coke, and, um, but, like, like, the, um, like I said, the pizza, because I love food, so pepperoni, but, disgusting even the one here in, uh, in slice box even that uh, pizza is a lot better 
And even like, even if you guys remember the, uh, I think here in Crawley there was like the, I think, Perry Perry I think it was? Yeah, Perry Perry, which is like, uh, as I thought, downgrade version of, uh, you know, uh, the Red Perry Perry or even Perry Chicken. Even that was actually better than that disgusting as hell halal food express. Literally, that gives me, for me, if I, if I, had to, if I was a food reviewer, yeah, I would give it thumbs down. Literally, zero. That's how bad it is. And then, like, I was like, you know, and then, uh, I think, because yeah, one day we had pizza, so I was like, that's definitely a major upgrade. Definitely cannot beat the classic pizza, huh? yeah. And, uh, and one day I had the macaroni and cheese. It wasn't for dinner, but it was like, I think, did I have, no, once I had it for dinner, that was in the, one of the park. Uh, quite, I was, and even uh, had it once as a snack in one, one of the other parks as well, Disney Fox. I was literally like, mate, you cannot go wrong with macaroni and cheese. Honestly, it was so nice. Even here in England, it's quite nice, and over there, it's quite nice as well. Because I thought, at first, I was like, it might be a bit different, but we'll see. But as they call it, mac and cheese, actually, so nice. <laughs> yeah. And uh, obviously, a few times, obviously, I had pizza. Massive. Some of them are actually quite nice, but there's, uh, as we went to another one, another pizza place, that's actually, walking distance from our hotel called CC's, which is sort of like Pizza Hut itself, you know, like, and because luckily next to it is sort of like, it's sort of like a, a shop next to it as well, so it's like a convenience store as well, so it's like, you can get like t-shirts and you can get uh, like souvenirs, get uh, food, drinks, um, um, a lot of stuff as well, but yeah, the, obviously, the pizza is massive, but even the like the like fingers and like the drinks are proper massive cups. I was like, because eh. normally when I go to pizza, because refillable as well, and think and also thinking of refillable as well is like quite nice. But it's like even after one, you get stuffed, and it's like not just the pizza, but also the actual drink. Because I was like, I cannot finish it, and I don't think I did end up finishing it, but uh, quite a massive food coma, quite nice, but. Yeah, we also like to went to a few of the shops nearby as well. Um, quite a lot of good like prices as well. Like not just like like I said, food wise, like Dunkin' Donuts quite nice, and but also like the like I said, that like, convenience store as well. Like good prices on like t-shirts and uh, jumpers and like trousers, I think as well. Like towels and there's like keychains and the bottle openers and. Stuff like that, and even like diff like chocolates there, like and the drinks are different, like they're massive, because they're like Lucasade or the Great Gatorade. It's like it's sort of like our large, in their medium, and like wow, and obviously they call it different stuff as well. Like some of the I noticed as well, especially on the last day, a lot when I was, was on the last day as well, when we were looking for keychains as well, like uh, more stuff to bring back here. And um, it was like, I the food as well, like, they're like chocolates and stuff, like different flavours and drinks, different flavours as well. Some of them are still the same, like Coke and stuff, but some like more flavours as well, like different kind and even chocolates and stuff. And I was like, wow, different. And even in the pot, like, and McDonald's as well, like, obviously the McDonald's are massive, like, because even like, um, there's like definitely the um, what do you call it? One that it's like obviously our large is their medium, like I said, not just the meal, but also like said, again the drink, again different flavors. But it also, you can also get Lucasade as well, it's like nice. And also, like over there, they have like this um, you can get like as like a if you if you get like a there's two new things. One which is like a double, like you know, like a double fish fillet, obviously because again, like I said, I'm Muslim, so I can't have their meat as a halal, but it wasn't any halal meat at all. But so obviously we had to get like as we do here in England, like fish fillet. So all the veggie, but I got fish fillet. Um, yeah, basically we got the um actual like 
it was like uh, double. So you know like how the thing, yeah, Big Mac, yeah, like double the meat thing like that, double fish. I was like, nice. It looks so big. I was like, damn. And another one is like like a normal fish fillet, but it's like, uh, but it's like instead of chips, you can substitute that for a I mean, it's, yeah, hash browns. It's just so good. But I noticed that that does not make you fill up. I should say it's better to have had either the double one or have the like a normal fish fillet. Because when I had the, because obviously the first time we went, I got the, the yeah, normal fish fillet meal because I was like, I know for a fact that I'm going to get stuffed, the thing. So, but then the second time we went, I got the, like the hash brown one instead and I was like, yeah, I'm not even stuffed. I was really hungry. I don't know if it's because I didn't eat anything the whole day. Like, because obviously you're trying to save myself as well, like dinner and because dinner will obviously eat out and obviously the park don't really feel hungry at all. So, but obviously, like, well, yeah, it did not make you hung stuffed at all. Definitely not. And, uh, yeah, and also shops as well, like, again, like, there's like Target and Walgreens and I think Mini Mart, yeah. I think it was, I can't remember what it was, I think it might have been Mini Mart or something. It went to once, it was after one of the parks, it was like, literally, very regretful, I tell you that, very. Because it's literally it's so, it's like, because some of their like, stores like Target and stuff like that, uh, their version, our, it's like their version of our like Morrison's and uh, Asda and uh, B&M. Yeah, so definitely, if you I think it's Walmart, yeah, do not go there, especially to go Target, especially because at night as well, like, because it's so bloody busy as hell. And the, like, because like waiting, waiting like ages and things like queue and, and they were, I mean, admittedly they were quite good, quite good deals, quite good food stuff and quite a lot of like good stuff they had, but the queues were massive, it was like so long, it was like bloody hell, like, and then after waiting ages and they, they're like, literally like, I can't do it, but they, should, they shut off the thing, they just to another one, they oh, they say, oh, this counter is closed, they still have another one, it's like, like bloody hell, even like, like one of the people next to us, like next to us or behind us, they're like, they're like, what the hell are you playing at, man? You waiting ages. What the hell, man? You just tell us now. You just told us earlier. So obviously, people were getting really annoyed. So we, and so the, obviously, one well, the other days, and also worse as well. Like, there's only one person at counter as well. Like, and they were so bloody slow. Like, what the hell? So going like that, they're just like. Mm. Like, what the hell are you doing? I can work far. I can walk faster than that. Honestly, it's not good. The bad experience of that, but I went Target. That was that was actually quite nice. No, that's it. Wal the Walmart actually was sort of like the sorry the um, uh, H and V. No, what's the one that's near the big stores? I forgot. What it's called now. Um, that computer store. Let me know in the comments. Like, I completely forgot him. Uh, I might. Curry's Pizza Wars, that's it. Curry's Pizza Wars. Like that, but. I mean, it's okay, but nothing special really. But I think. When, like I said, it was the, one of the other stores. It's not that good, like I said, that we went to. But Target, though, honestly, that was definitely a lot better. Like, a lot more better stuff, a lot more variety. Because not only do they have, like, just like food stuff, but they also got like a uh, pharmacy beer, they've also got a, um, like I said, um, kind of like, like videos, DVDs, they've got uh, video games, they've got, um, like, like I said, set, like accessories like headphones and stuff, and there's also like, uh, like travel stuff as well, like, I mean, pick up like suitcases and stuff, and quite, I mean, quite a lot of good stuff, and uh, a lot more better because a lot more, a lot more, not just variety, but again, better prices and definitely a lot better than the other one, and just a lot better, definitely. And they even got pizza there as well, like, quite nice. And I know one thing, one of the th other things I noticed in America, the roads are like massive as hell as well, like, I was like, bloody hell. And even driving, obviously, left hand, obviously, I didn't drive there, but my mum did, and it was like, Obviously, we're used to driving right-hand. Right it's like, 
obviously coming back because I was like England it was like quite hard to get used to again like getting back back to the routine and also trying to try right hand lane again and like there and there's like um and also like and also because it's sort of like oh you know how like oh where it's like uh, we got I think trying to find a good example sort of like like uh, it's probably wrong but it's like well we go that way and then they go that way like kind of the roads um uh, I think I'm trying to think now um yeah yeah, yeah. you know how we go that way and they go so like for example we're driving and have like two way lanes so it's like because we because if you drive that way and then people come in that way so it's like that instead it's the like opposite so it's like that quite hard and because automatic driving design is like obviously and it's like their steer their wheel bit I'm going to I'm going to call it steering wheel not at the bottom as is it's actually like there so imagine I'm driving it's like the thing's literally right there it's quite and because you're used to that. And uh, yeah, so that and um, not just their cars are proper massive. The annoying thing was, was as well was that that the actual like because obviously there's five of us, you know, like six suitcases, one extra. We needed like a bigger space, and the annoying thing was like not just and not just because obviously we brought a lot of stuff over there as well. We also like um, basically and we had a lot of like bags as well. Plus the suitcases on the back is not good because like less space is irritating. Need a bigger space, you know, but a lot better. So you know, and I uh, noticed another thing I noticed as well. Like the weather, like their winter, like now would be like it's like hot and sunny. It's sort of like our summer. It's, it's actually quite really quite nice weather. And the thing I noticed as well, if you're gonna go to America, yeah, take my advice. Do not. And I mean, do not, like, do what I did, which is take a lot of clothes. I regret it, because I ended up, like, because I thought, oh, I'm not going to buy that much stuff. And so I'm there for 14 days, so, but I ended up, but still, I was like, I'm not going to buy anything, you know. I'll save my money, I'm not going to buy anything. Even though I have a Monzu account thing, but I was like, buy, obviously, little stuff, not too much. But still, I ended up getting quite a lot, like, like this uh, jumper is one of the things I got. Cause yeah, cause the stores, like I said, the shops as well, and then uh, yeah, and I bought like the tracksuit I'm wearing now. Bought that as well. I bought this. Uh, it's quite a lot of stuff that I bought. Like even uh, this case, I bought this new one and same fitting, cause you know I'm Disney, so I was like, why not? And cause uh, there's quite a lot of stuff like the shopping mall as well. Like I said, they're like proper massive. I was like, yes. So good. It's like the outlet is quite good as well. It's like they're like the I would say so the best one to go to though because it's always because because obviously in America is obviously busy, but do not pay for valet parking though or because it's quite expensive and you have to you have to also like one of the other things I like uh, like I can take away as well is that pick the timing right. Make sure it's the right timing because. The first day we went shopping was and um, the day that I got this as well and but something it was like it was actually like on like a Thursday I think it was no Christmas no Boxing Day sorry we went and obviously quite nice weather you know as well but we went to the first one which is more nearer to us obviously they're all quite near us obviously uh, it was like, I think it's uh, I, forgot, I think it's Florida more or something, no. Well, that was the other one I went to. Uh, quite, the point is, one of the malls we went to is like, obviously quite busy as well. That's, that's why th we went, I think, afternoon-ish time. I have to be careful with the time because it's always, like, obviously busy as well. And it's America and like, holidays and the weather quite nice. So you have to pick your time right. Uh, definitely, because uh, the other mall we went to where I got this from was the, uh, I'm gonna get it wrong, but the Millennium Mall, which is where we had that McDonald's the first day, that that McDonald's, like I said, that one where I got the uh, meal, the normal one. Uh, yeah, the the mall. I'm gonna call it Millennium Mall. Honestly, you, the, if 
I'd prefer, I'd prefer that and the other one, that one that we went to. I would say, yeah, definitely the Millennium Mall was definitely better. It's like more posh. It's like, think of Stratford and, and uh, Westfield, definitely. But a lot bigger, a lot better because, again, that lot more variety. Because it's got, again, that proper, like, better food court stuff. Better, like, again, better, like, not just car parking, but also looks more nicer. And uh, also, better prices as well. And the shops look a lot nicer as well, like, bigger as well. It's like, I was like, nice. I was like, yeah. And even the toilets are quite nice as well. Literally, uh, quite posh. Especially a posh place, like, and the outlets, they were actually kind of like, um, Think of Ashford a bit, but definitely a lot again, a lot definitely a lot bigger, a lot better. But the one thing I definitely have to say though, with like the outlets though that I went to, like definitely one of the things I definitely noticed, you definitely need a map if you're gonna go because like it's, you can easily get lost. And the malls, obviously, you went to Florida malls, but that was quite nice as well. Like they had like Carl's Bakery, that was, I was like, oh, oh, that's quite nice. Because when I went to New York, I got that the first time there on the last day where, where there was like dreadful weather over there, but um, it was raining on when I went to New York. And on the last day, I was like, uh, yeah, so the thing I got was like a cookie thing. And this time I got this like cookie sandwich. So it's like, I think it's like literally like, uh, literally like a chocolate chip cookie. It's like, so it's like, uh, it was like a sandwich, it was like a, um, so sort of like icing, but it's like, this cream, some sort of rainbow cream thing, and, and another like, you know, another cookie on top, no chocolate cookie. Honestly, it's so nice. I was like, yeah, quite nice. Oh, nice. And so, and also, yeah, and forgot to mention the subway as well. You know how like here when we do like, a meal, we have like, um, like if you don't want, don't want Chris, you can have cookie, you can have cookie instead. This time, uh, you get like, you can pick a cookie and. And I, as like a meal, like, like I said, and then they give you another one for free. I was like, yes, quite nice. Uh, so anyway, so yeah, so it's, it's quite good. So the food wise, some of them were, eh, some of them quite nice, definitely. Um, there's especially because like, like I said, was more halal, but definitely for the food wise, and dr uh, obviously the drink was a matter of obviously because we didn't have it anyway. For food wise, I just wish we had more. Halal varieties, you know, for like because I'm Muslim, so again, like, like I said, halal foods, like I said, quite rare to find not only in our area but also in uh, like the actual parks and stuff, and just around us as well. It's quite difficult, and um, so yeah, that's quite rare, and so again, need more variety. And because there's one of the outlets we went to is like. There's a um, the, the jar up here. Actually, that was it's like this. Okay, think of uh, what's the word? You know, like how when you go to football matches, there's like, for example, in London, there's always like these people that are selling this uh, 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 food truck. That's it. It's basically that. It's like, it's like luckily it was halal as well, so that was good. Uh, but obviously, my thing was when we wanted to get it, it closed. It, we couldn't get it because it closed early, and, but yeah, and obviously on the way back as well, like uh, from some of the parks, we go past. We always go past that first mall, I think it was, or something, or one of the ones we went to. Basically, definitely, definitely one of the ones we went to, and uh, one of the, and we also go past one of the cheesecake factories. Also well, quite nice. I noticed as well that like, loads like stuff like there's Dunkin' Donuts, there's loads of like um, the McDonald's, there's. Loads of Seven uh, Eleven. There's Waffle House. There's um, uh, what is it? Uh, what else was it? Taco Bell. There's um, well, I think Baskin Robbins. I think it was uh, what else? Uh, yeah, I can't remember. There's definitely quite a lot, and so and quite a lot of them were actually like literally walking distance, like I said, near us and near, uh, you know, 
Yeah, so the thing that the thing I definitely regret was not uh, not just that halal food express, but also the thing we had on the last day as well, that was disgusting. It's like that's terrible as well. It's not good. Like the I mean the chicken nuggets they were alright, but the chips too hard, cold, too salty as well, not that nice. Definitely here's better. And so but obviously we couldn't have Taco Bell because uh, obviously I'm tired when I come back from the park and from the parks and stuff and then and then it's like just like obviously in the Taco Bell that was near us was like I think not even opened yet and the other one was like and we, I think we're like now nah, couldn't bother or whatever I forget meaning to but I was like too tired as well I forgot as well okay Cheesecake Factory as well because obviously in America you've got to if you're in America you definitely got to have Taco Bell is definitely one of them and got a Cheesecake Factory but I definitely would love to have had it definitely um, because in like they actually did in I think was it Target I think it was or one of them in the one of the bakery sections actually had the miniature had a uh, cheesecake factory yeah, a cheap proper cheesecake it's quite nice I've heard it's quite well I didn't have it but I've heard it's supposed to be quite nice but we'll see if obviously here obviously at least when I came back I managed to actually have a cheesecake which is better than nothing it's good you know the ones you get from Asda so it's like um put in there in the um fridge to frost so it was nice but obviously still quite nice and the other speaking of that speaking of the other food places I was like one of the food places that we managed to find which is halal because uh, my uncle he went there for us and he told us like about his halal places and stuff and one of them we actually found the last day but which definitely I've heard which is Arabic place which obviously Moroccan but it looked quite nice would actually would have been a lot better to have instead of that disgusting thing we had on the last day uh, but there's a place we found in Universal it's like this proper one of the proper Moroccan places the obviously the only thing that the beef that's obviously halal and but yeah it was not as nice let's just say that the one here definitely a lot better uh, I'm trying to think of a place in here that where you think oh in England where it's like where you're like oh the burger's not that nice where you think that oh the burger's like literally not that good like you know um, and then the 40 pounder the beef burger like the halal one I can't really think of one but let's just say that let's just say that whatever one is that one definitely be a lot better to have than that one there but still um yeah we had we bought quite a lot of like pringles and we got like because we bought back like, loads of like not just like let's say clothes but some sweets as well like over there like, there's one of them uh obviously that like, gatorade that's honestly so nice uh they were so nice and quite a few sweets there quite nice as well massive as well um like, licorice as well and then one of them as well, like, I found out uh, there's that like, fishies. One of these tastes exactly. Like, I mean, I forgot what it tastes like, but yeah, honestly, it's so nice. It's amazing. I was like, oh, proper strawberry and stuff, and it's like, oh, it's just it's so good. And uh, also, found, and some stuff I actually found as well, like, they were actually like, not just like some stuff you have here, also like, oh, I remember this stuff. I used to have it when I was a kid. Yeah, it's quite nice and quite good. And uh, so, yeah, uh, now I'll talk about the weather um, as well. Uh, yeah, also, I forgot to mention before that, another thing I noticed is well, like uh, when you're like um, driving up. A lot of people honking as well, like bloody hell. Even speaking of the honking, like even when you park, you know when, like, obviously when you turn off your car, it's normal. Yeah, but when they turn off their car, literally, in automatic car, you obviously go, they like windows go like that, and then, like that. Some of them do do that, but some don't, but they're like, when they turn off the car, literally, obviously, press the button as you do, turn it off, and then go like that, and it's like, their windows and it's like they um it's like eh, 
Like, he's like, you're like, eh, you like how when you honk at someone, you're beeping on someone like that. That's what they do, like, when, t when they, like, turn it off. You're like, Phew. you're like, because it's very like hard to like, like, thinking someone's honking, like, you think, makes you think, like, is someone honking at you, or are you honking at someone, or something, or, or, or just something. But, it's like, damn. And that was every time I'm a massive heart attack. Definitely. Um, yeah, anyway, so going back to the weather, yeah. Well, the first day when we went, it was, yeah, it was raining. Literally pouring down. Even the day, the next day, first full day, we went to see well. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good combination or not. I mean, like, so yeah, like, it was like, um, like, because of raining and wet and stuff as well and it was just like man, not that nice. I mean some stuff was quite nice I admit but obviously the weather not that nice one of, uh, some of the rides not that nice like there's this ride that's sort of like in Thor Park like I think in, in Nemesis I think it was and and the one from uh, Thor one from Chesterton the vampire it was like that but but it does like because you go like that, go up, and then you go, and you do that, and then the that is like, like nah, not that nice. It definitely makes you sick. Like, definitely like massive migraine. And then um, also in the car as well, for the engine as well. There's like, you know how like you have um, hook do that, where and you have like the handle is separate, so you have like the handle there, and then in the boot you have like the hook or that fair enough but anyway yeah and so sea world i'll say definitely go there if you're gonna go like more for like exploring stuff as well like in dolphins and stuff definitely so in other words if you're more to sea life then i'll definitely say go there definitely um epcot that is amazing definitely like and also oh yeah in the parks as well which i mentioned before when you there's like when you park your car obviously there's like uh, some of the parks like for example animal kingdom or something they say like what your number is so obviously you can park anywhere else it's up to you as you do but they but they say like so for example in animal kingdom it's like you can be heroes or villains uh wherever and then like and then uh and you have to remember that like, yeah you're this so-and-so area uh let's say you're on the villain side and the, way, the car the, where you're parked you're in Zafar and your number is uh, in row this so and so thing number so like so you're in Zafar in Zafar sorry B3 or something so you have to know and also to get to when you park your car obviously there's like a tram that just takes you to the thing and then obviously you walk and also like, before you enter the actual park sort of thing there's like a before you can actually enter, you know like how and like, let's say again using Thor Park as a good example in Thor Park you have like um what's the word like you have the now you have the security stuff where you have like where like now you check your bags and have a bit where and then even like when you go like after go in and you have like for your like if you have like a your ticket or you have like a murder pass scan it and go in and like you put there and then you have like entrance stuff yeah well, basically they have sort of like that except it's like you have like a security stuff where you have to open if you have your where it's like two areas two sections like, as you do in Thorpe Park where it's like bags and non-bags and then you have non you don't have bags you can go through but yeah that end there's if you have a bag it's like um like you like how airport you have like security stuff it's literally like that where if you have a bag they check it they don't because the thorough with it, checking to see whether any any dangerous stuff or anything, you have to obviously be cautious. And then, because in one because in one of the parks it does, like uh, like I said that, and it's like all of them do it basically. But and you have like you know the security, the scanner thing at the airports, they love that. You have to take out you to put anything from, everything from your pockets, make sure nothing there, nothing dangerous as well. And then free to go. And one of them you actually have like. Um, like, uh, I think it's, 
of his sin. Mm. Yeah. yeah that, after the security stuff, um, they still like do the eh, thing. As well, yeah, and then, um, yeah, also, yeah, first talk about the weather. Uh, yeah, let me first talk about the weather, sorry. And then we'll get to the park, sorry, as well, properly. Um, yeah, so like I said, the first few days were raining, but the rest of them, the rest of the time I was there, actually, really decent, quite nice, actually. Hot, sunny, and then even, like, but it was on that last day, though, it was, like, quite cold. But when you look how today, or yesterday, was basically, where well, like, sunny, but it's also windy and cold, like that. And then, but luckily the next day was like back to quite nice weather, quite hot and sunny. So next day, which is the day we were flying back here, so that was good. Uh, good weather, quite nice stuff. And uh, so yeah, again, like I said, so again, like I said, I already said about Sea World. So Epcot definitely, like I said, uh, quite nice. It's like it's sort of like basically it's amazing though. Like not just the weather, but also like not, not just again the food stuff, but Amazing rides there as well, a lot of good key change, key change you can get as well, and stuff and just loads to do and again definitely you get with obviously you can get lost easy as well, and um, yeah quite a lot of uh, quite quite good stuff so like quite good like look like you know like, like fairs kind of thing like shows as well and uh, but there's just, like but I mean I liked it definitely that's one of the ride, ones that I liked. Definitely, um, but um, definitely, I suggest do not ever go on the Space Mountain. I was literally nauseous, literally, I felt sick, head was hurting. I was like, literally, like, I cannot drink or eat anything after that. It's like, it's all like how you are after a gym session, like, where you're tired, you cannot eat or drink anything after that, like that. and. Then even like then it was like it was like allow that and it's like and then it was like it's a bit like so I was like no definitely not and I, th I, mean, I like the weather obviously I like I like the park itself but Space Mountain is the thing that definitely put me off definitely and I think it was yeah there I forgot to mention as well in there that in you can actually like a world tour or something like you can do like. This thing where it's like, oh, tick off, like, oh yeah, you've gone to this so and so area. So it's like, they've, like, because like different world tour country stuff, like, there was China, there was Russia, there was um, Morocco, there was uh, England as well, um, there was France, quite a lot of good stuff, quite a lot of uh, places, so, so that was good. And that's, uh, that was good. Apart from the Space Mountain, um, obviously, uh, like I said, the shopping. Uh, I'll get to that after I said the parks. Well, went to. I, I get to my most favorite one after that. Uh, you, uh, Magic Kingdom. For that, you have to again security stuff, and also because we had the Magic Band thing, so obviously you have to do ding that, and then put your like, and then put your finger on it, and then turn green, and then. The yes, yeah, so the, sort of like an ID. So, and on the actual band as well itself, and also for Epcot as well, it say about what your, uh, what um, you picked itself. You obviously, when you go to this park, you pick already on the bands and what the rides you're gonna do. So, because you know, pick a time, you know, as you do in England as well, that, like, and for that, um, so yeah, and then obviously like I said, the security thing, and as you do. Um, but for the Magic Kingdom, you have to get like a, you need two options. You can either get a train thing, uh, or you get like a boat which takes you to the park. And then, obviously, again, you have to do security stuff, so ding, that thing. And then, and then you've got to go. And then, again, you have to like, it's sort of like, it's basically, let's just say, I don't I mean, it's, I mean, it's good, definitely, I mean. Obviously crowded as it is, and stuff. But obviously, a bit annoying, but I quite a lot of good ride, good rides as well. I mean, good weather we went as well. But it was like, um, cause we went twice to Magic Kingdom as well. And uh, but the second day definitely 
a lot better because it, it was definitely the secondary when it was definitely even more better weather like quite hot literally the hottest day it went and obviously ice cream needed that obviously had the Mickey Mouse ice cream honestly it tastes like Magnum honestly so nice oh, oh yes and uh, less crowded and obviously it's still crowded but it's less crowded than it was when we went the first day and uh, we, obviously because we did the rest of the stuff that we didn't get to do we did so such a but it wasn't very much had left so that was good so you know and also definitely it wasn't on that second day it was the first day I watched the president show yeah not that, that good it was so boring like literally fell asleep which I actually did yeah and then uh, the second day like I said uh, and obviously obviously it would be crowded as you like I said uh, as I said it would be but definitely less crowded than uh, the first day and stuff and and then yeah that was it and on and then we went to also animal kingdom as well that was quite good because again went twice first day i think i don't think it was as good was it no it was as good i don't think i'm trying i'm trying to think now um oh wait, no yeah no it's still it's quite nice weather as well the water rise i was trying to avoid because the day or the day before which is because the day we went was like after new year on new year's day so and then the day before went to one of the other parks where and where we got wet not that good but thankfully it's still it's quite hot so it dried off a lot more and um and uh yeah so quite a lot of stuff as well there's, a, there's also a bollywood show as well uh some of the rides were all right but there's, I think the Jurassic Park one, one of them, one of them over in the Magic Animal Kingdom. Not that nice, definitely. Second time, we went in the evening because I had dinner over there. That's the day that I had, uh, my kids made the mac and cheese. Because I, cause I thought, oh, because we went to the Rainforest Cafe, the thing wouldn't be as good. And because obviously we booked the day, uh, I think because we also went to some of the, like, one of the, like, yeah, we literally went to one of the, like, um, the, went, we did some of the other stuff that we didn't get to do. And a couple of them we did end up doing, like, um, we actually did do on the first one, so, but still did again. Well, let's just say, didn't, there's one of the Safari ones that did not do so bloody boring as hell. And even during the night, because we went at night, and then, because one of them we went during the, like, Second one we went during the day was like, oh, it's before it went dark, so like it finished before it started to get dark when it finished. So I was like, I was like oh, it might be better during the day, we never know. But was we wrong? Definitely. So boring, like, bloody hell. That's why, but at least the one of the other rides we went to quite good. That was definitely good. Uh, also, the first day was well, the one of the shows we watched, the Disney show, it was a laser light show or something, it's quite nice. Definitely, it was definitely better than the one we watched on the second day, which is the Lion King one. Because that's, especially with this idiot, it's like, in front of us, like, literally, those are one of the people that I absolutely hate. They're like, it's like, next to you, so much bloody space, and what did they do? Put their bloody jacket and stuff, and it's so inconsiderate. And it's really like, fuck's sake, man. Like, seriously, man, bloody hell. Like, what the hell are you doing? And then it's like, I'm sorry for swearing, it's just, I was like, sorry, sorry it's seriously annoying me. And it's like, but you know, it's, that's why I said that other one was better because I had like, I said the other one was better because in that first one was at night and it was outside. At least, I mean, at least then we had like, I had like idiots, proper, Id proper idiots in front of me and I could actually see and I got to proper record stuff and it's quite, it's a lot better, definitely, you know, and uh, so that was good. Uh, so you know, and um, uh, and then the other park we went to was one of my favorite ones, which is Universal. Went, again, we went twice, which is once was on the um, the what day was it? Yeah, that, like I said, the, the day we went was New Year's Eve, and I can't remember the other one. Yeah, because yeah, because the first one, because 
Let's just invest so good. So big. It's quite good. And like, it's just amazing. It's like definitely something I would definitely want to go to. Definitely. Again, definitely. Because like it's got sports stuff, you know, sports bars, sports places, again, food places. But unfortunately, you know, it needs more halal places. Um, a lot more like good rides as well. And because it's broken down into three sections. Uh, definitely uh, three sides and um, yeah, basically quite good definitely uh, and because today when the second one was like because like I said the first day first one we went to it was not that good it started raining as well uh, not good but the second day we went it was actually a lot better because it's quite hot and sunny so was, and dry so that was good and then like on um and what do we do here? Yeah, and then, yeah, so that was the day we watched the Indiana, jo the Indiana Jones thing, which is not that good. And that today, that day, no, it was the other day. I was trying to think, was, actually, no, sorry. The second day, sorry, was the day that we got, I think, I can't remember, the point is, the one of them that I went to was when we went to, like, we went to, uh, I went to the other side, which is the went to the, my my. Literally, I say the reason why I say my favorite part was just because of not just our water, not just because of like the, all the good stuff, but mainly because of the Marvel world. Because I love Marvel, definitely. So that's definitely my world. Well, like yes, quite a lot of good stuff. But one of the rides I was like, no, I'm not gonna go on because obviously I hate heights. So it's like. One of the rides like not good. Even my brother and my sister, they, uh, one of them they came back and they were like, not very good, terrible ride. And um, and then, oh yeah, because the first day I thought to me, yeah, that's it. The first day, yeah, I thought to me, that was, it was, uh, yeah, the first day that's it. It was chucking it down, and uh, like I remember because uh, cause I remember because we went to the, because that's the day we got the refillable ones as we do. At Thor Park, you know, to any section as you do, Coke, but but that one is like a limit, so it's like when you put it the first time, it tells you when you next can do it. But whilst at Thor Park is like not a limit, you know, if you like, ha you have it and then say you no, know, and then yeah, can remember because that day there's a Terminator side and they had the Fast and Furious and that, and then we didn't get, we didn't get, which we didn't get to do, and I remember because we went. Um, and I heard that it was supposed to be quite a terrible ride, Fast and Furious one. I remember there was like this, like, um, what ride was it? There's a um, Men in Black one as well and stuff, which I went to when I was a kid. Yeah, I remember because it was decent, and then when it came out, it was like, uh, it was like, I'm trucking it down, and I was like, nah, I don't remember it. So, you know. And there's a, my, oh yeah, Harry Potter thing as well, Diagon Alley, that well, that's quite good. Uh, there's oh, rock, there's rock star ride as well. Oh, and also Harry Potter. You know that uh, that um, midnight bus thing. They had that there as well. And I remember the bus. I remember also that rock roller coaster ride. Eh, okay. Remember, yeah, because I remember it was quite it was quite hot and sunny. I think it was quite decent. And then or something. And then yeah. And then it started raining again, and it was on and off. And then the second day, again, like all day, it stayed like hot and sunny. And then, and then, um, and then, like, um, and then I remember I went to, like I said, that Marvel ride world. And then I went to his Achilles side a bit, like, went to his, this Pinocchio, I think it's Pinocchio, or it was one of the ones I used to watch when I was a kid, Woody Woodpecker side kind of thing. That's sort of one. Yeah, do not go on the water ride. There's a reason they have like this. Uh, you know, like I think it's sort of like the one in uh, uh what's it Thor Park. Yeah, that Rapids one. There's a reason they had like the cover because it's more dangerous, gets you more wet. I think you're proper soaking wet. Can remember because that day it started to get bad and it wasn't as hot. You know, at all, and then unlike the unlike the unlike the other day where unlike the next day where I went on 
sort of say when I went to Animal Kingdom, I went on the water ride where luckily I was soaked a bit, but that still dried out. Even that was better. That one because I was still soaking the whole day. I remember because I was like so I was so miserable. I was like no, because that day because after day I went to read that burger thing, and because we wanted to go to Harry, that Harry Potter site, we did. Or I did, me and my sister did, we went to the Harry Potter side and we went to, um, I wanted to go on that Hagrid, uh, um, bike ride thing and, you know when Harry Potter, you know the first thing when Harry Potter got his wand and you went to that elves, it's that shelf thing, yeah, it has that thing, yeah, I wanted to go with that but it was like an hour ride so we ended up going to sort of like, um, this, the broomstick ride, it was actually pretty good, it makes you, Feel like yeah you actually are ha in Harry Potter and you're actually riding in the um thing because what it is you're playing like sort of like uh playing Quidditch and battling the demons and that fighting that tree and again after playing in the Quidditch like the finals and stuff and then at the end it's like, like yeah you won the Quidditch, like they spell the last kind of thing. That sounds good, and because because I remember we went back to the original side, which is uh, still a bit busy even at even like night, and then we kept because I remember we left, it was still quite busy, and we came back because they were like yeah it's better to like stay here because it's gonna be more busy because especially like click especially because New Year's Eve so obviously quite busy and then because we went back had a shower got changed and everything. And then, uh, had dinner and then went out, went back to there, and it was still quite busy. And then, uh, obviously, we celebrated New Year's Day, New Year's Eve there, because over there I was very celebrated, because we went the day, went before, I think it was like the day before, yeah, we went the day before to, uh, so to, went to America the day before New Year's Eve, so celebrating New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day over there. So different, you know. And cause it didn't cause honestly it didn't feel like it was we were it was actually Christmas and stuff. It still felt like a normal every other day, you know, and stuff, so weird. And then yeah, and then so that was it, yeah. Hollywood Studios though, chucking it down and stuff, went to the sort of like you know the um, that Hollywood studio ride thing that was like that, that the other day that I said that we went to no no yeah that's the day sorry we went to watch um, Indiana Jones thing that day was not that good because like, like it kept raining and stuff it's annoying and it's like proper soaking wet and uh, these it's not that good. I think because over there, I think it was, yeah, had that Star Wars ride, which I wanted, I wanted to go on. I was like, yeah, because I, I, I was like, cause I like Star Wars as well, so, but the rain and the queue just, just like put me off, so I was like, nah, allow it. And then, uh, and yeah, that was it really, so, so yeah, so, basically, <clears throat> so yeah, so, the foods, some of them quite nice, like I said. Track the some of the rides are quite nice, quite good. Some weren't obviously. Uh, the weather was, was all right. Eventually, it started to get quite good. So after that, was right. Uh, and basically, just overall, it was quite overall. Cause I've talked quite a lot, nearly an hour or so. So it's like quite good, definitely good experience. If you're gonna go to Florida, I would say definitely. Oh, please. Uh, I would say definitely go, definitely, but definitely go like where it's like less busy. So like when people are at school, definitely I'd say um, when people are at school when their school time and you're free, I'd, I'd say definitely go then, and um, because then still be pretty quite nice weather, but but less busier because obviously school because obviously school time, you know. So that's it, I'm going to stop rambling off because I've talked the way too much. Did I, so to end it, did I enjoy my trip? Yeah, I did, definitely. Would I, would I love to definitely go again? Yeah, I would. 
definitely if I left to go away in fact less uh, busy as I am and because some of the things I've learned definitely like pack less stuff because I know I'm going to end up buying a lot of stuff anyway so don't take much clothes as I am you know so and um, still obviously be prepared as well so like take some trousers as well uh, as a backup as well take a um, jack a couple of jackets the back of don't take like, a massive jacket and also try and find like more halal places as well definitely go there like even though after the parks be quite tired but still go to some of those places but do not take stay away from the asian food places go to like the england ones like as in one as in like so like american ones like burger places and stuff and taco bell and stuff that like and if it's halal or something or veg veggie options at least or something that's good yeah and um definitely do not, so but next time i definitely would not want to i want to go like if i do i want to definitely go like universal because definitely universal again out, out of the parks i want to definitely go universal i'll go um definitely Epcot, definitely. Um, I mean, Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, definitely. Magic Kingdom just irritating to get there because it's so annoying. Like, I mean, obviously, the good thing about Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, though, is like you have to get that like, proper train and stuff. It's just so long to get there. It's like commuting from, let's say, London to, let's say, Brighton. So long. Uh, obviously, I don't do that, but it's quite long. Um, so that's my thing. So yeah, definitely stay away from Hollywood Studios and um and definitely stay away from as you can know, and some of the stores stay away from that. Go, don't go to the outlet, just go to I'll say that I'll definitely go to like 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 the Florida Mall and the Millennium Mall, definitely those two are the main ones definitely to go to. Don't go to any of the outlets. Uh Definitely, uh, inshallah, if I go next time, definitely try at Cheesecake Factory as well and Taco Bell and try, uh, definitely, because I love, because I'm one of the people that love my food, so definitely try that Waffle Heart, try that Pizza Heart thing, uh, then, uh, as well, let's try uh, quite a few things, definitely try, you know. Also the gym, also could mention the hotel, not that nice, though, like, it's like, it's sort of like, ah, fuck, it's like so small, definitely, it's like, side, it's like, literally, it's like, all it was was literally like, uh, got treadmill, two weird machines, and the right machine, I think, or something, but not that nice, not that good, I thought it's better to like, go somewhere outside or something, or wait, just wait, come back to England, go to the gym then, not that nice, you know, but I think the reason why is because obviously, and like the pool, so speaking of which I would love to, next time maybe like, stay in the same place or something, like definitely try, not only that, like I said, take a place that I wanted to go to, besides Taco Bell, besides Taco Bell and obviously that place that we found, that, on the last one of the places we found on the last day that we didn't get to go to but definitely also go if it's, it's quite nice weather and stuff definitely have like a day with like rest day parks go don't go like every day like consistent like because you get so tired i was like i was done after the first day i was like so tired i want a day of rest man i want to try the pool and stuff i like, definitely go to the pool you know and uh and swimming and stuff so definitely, but they're definitely fair and stuff. So again, overall, yeah, I would definitely want to go again. Inshallah, when it's like, when I have enough money as well, and inshallah, if I'm work, like working as well, I'm not busy or anything, I'm proper relaxed. So then, yeah, so there's quite a few things that I wouldn't do, like, say, consistent stuff and like every day, so tired, especially the parks, and some rides I would not go on. I wouldn't, and some like parks I would not I would avoid like, like, 
uh, on the void also some few cases though and stuff like that yeah so that's it I'm definitely rambling way too much I think I was watching is hit like button and subscribe if you haven't already check out the channel for my previous videos and again subscribe if you're new here also happy 2020 and hopefully I should be making more videos but obviously we'll see I hope you guys enjoyed my long, my longest video that I made, this experience. Uh, so I suggest definitely go to America. Definitely go there. Oh, also, I want to mention as well about the Disney Springs. Disney Springs is like sort of like this, it's like um, sort of like more, it's more in the lines of a like, not like a park, but it's more like a shopping place. Definitely is amazing. The food was amazing. Good shops, good prices, it's just amazing. So, definitely go there as well. I suggest, but definitely stay away from, like I said, some places that I've said, yeah. But this is these are just my opinions. So, yeah, overall, I liked it. So, I'll give America and I think definitely I'll give 9.5, you know, definitely it'd be a 10 if they had didn't have any of those. We obviously go to those Asian places that just not that good, disgusting, terrible, smells bad and stuff and also they had more halal varieties that stayed more like good not like on and off a bit and uh and diff uh, diff some of the rides as well that weren't good. Definitely don't go, you know, if I didn't go there and I'm too tired, like consistent, then yeah definitely. So yeah, that's it. Uh, put in the comments below as well, what do you guys think of my very long video? Uh, what do you guys think of, did you, did you guys like this kind of platform thing? Do you like, what do you guys think of America? Do you guys, if you haven't been, would you, would you want to go? If you have been, what did you guys think of it? What did you, what, if you have been, and what did you take away from last time? What, did you, what would you do differently next time than you did last time? What some of the, like, Food places you went to, or some food places you liked, what was some of the rides you liked, and or didn't like, or and, and some of the takeaway places as well, and also what was the what was your favorite ride or your least favorite ride? Let me know. And um, see can also let me know what video is going to do. Uh, I'll try. I want to try and see if I, inshallah this year as well, not just finally pass the driving test. And also, inshallah, like, you know, try more food places or that. Like, I'm not going to try that. I'm going to try the vegan stuff, like that vegan, like, meatless people thing and that uh, meatless steak sub, steak, uh, pasty thing. And I want to try that vegan, uh, uh, what do you call it? That burger from KFC uh, and stuff. I have to try things as well but then inshallah like I said fast for driving and inshallah graduate as well inshallah maybe get a job as well uh, and maybe like, inshallah as well like it'll be good as well be more active as well and also inshallah like I said as well like I said, again go back to fast for driving fine hopefully finally passing it that'd be very good uh, hopefully before my theory test runs out you know I need to definitely and don't make any stupid mistakes and, if, and also inshallah get more subscribers on so here so YouTube build up my content as well have more so not just not just not just do film reviews and stuff but also do more as well let me know what, I, what you guys want to see as well Hopefully, not delaying stuff even more. I try and upload like one tw uh, more than once. Cause I might do one on maybe Thursday or something, but we'll see or something. But we'll see what happens. Let me know in the comments below what's bit, what videos what want, to, want, to, want me to do and what, what you guys want to see this year. You know, and uh, <coughs> I'll stop rambling on now. See you guys. Thanks. I hope you guys. Welcome back also, not just to my channel, but also 
and also to and welcome to the new people as well if you have subscribed this year um, but also uh, back to people who are now start, uh, starting their new semester this year and you know or started college or uni and stuff again and have a great rest of the week as well I'll see you guys next time signing out bye